Hi, from a small fisherman village in the north of Portugal. In a place where it seems like nothing ever happens, the old houses whisper stories about moments from a time between times. At first light, the fishermen head out in their small boats. This is a more humble and sustainable way of fishing. They just take what the ocean gives them and nothing more. And that's what I find in places like these, a more humble lifestyle. Until two years ago, when I was living in Amsterdam, in the city, I felt very stressed. I had everything materialistic I could think of at hand, but they didn't make me happy. When I got a glimpse of this different lifestyle, I decided to leave it all and go chase that feeling. I didn't want to spend my time in a city and an office. So I quit my job, moved out of my apartment and left. For me, it was not about white beaches, palm trees. It's about this, right here. Freedom, nature, emptiness, the quiet, the idyllic, adventure and genuine laughter with people who are present in this moment right here. That, to me, is happiness. I feel very safe on a deep level in places like these. In my opinion, most modern stress is social stress. Living here, at the edge of the endless Atlantic Ocean, is real life. Moving with the tides as it comes in and out, like everything in life comes in waves. Currently, I'm flowing through the salty days of summer. As the sun rises above the village, I wake up to the sound of the incoming tide. Let's see how the waves are. That's one of the nicest one I saw just now. 
Yeah, I don't think I'm going. I think I'm just gonna repair my boards and uh, head back home to work. Warm inside, so I'm just gonna let it dry in the sun for a few days, maybe weeks, and then see with the shaper if it even can be fixed. And it has a small piece here. I mean, it still tastes salty, but it's not like anything is really coming out. So I'm just gonna put some ding tape on it. As you can probably see, my hair is severely, severely damaged from <clears throat> spending so much time in the ocean and in the sun. Um, as I like to surf, my hair needs to like rehydrate and it needs way more oil. So what I did, I bought pure coconut milk. <laughs> so first my hair is gonna bathe in that. And next I bought coconut oil. Since I'm not surfing today, uh, I might as well do it today. Don't try this at home. <laughs> it's the weirdest thing you ever saw on the internet, maybe. <laughs> The struggles of living next to the ocean. Please don't unsubscribe at this point. <laughs> now I have it washed. At least it doesn't feel like rope. <laughs> For part two, we are going to be painting or dyeing my eyebrows i literally never thought i would be making videos on youtube about this kind of stuff because i'm really about natural beauty but the color i'm dyeing them is my natural color it's just the the ocean is bleaching them so much maybe i made it too dark actually the paint i don't know but last time i may have oh my god that scared the shit out of me and i almost <laughs> here we have it the finished result i think this diy eyebrow stuff turned out pretty well it's just so crazy what I think this is the way to realize that we are nature. Think about it, like we literally turn back to dust, to the earth, if we die, like our bodies. And basically just, it's enough proof to just see what the ocean and the salt water can do to our hair. What kind of effect it can have on our bodies. I, I feel like we always see us separate from nature. We are made up of nature. <laughs> and I think it's just so cool to kind of like be able to be part of the ocean and see how it really affects our bodies. The old uh, You still know Portugal? The old A, where are you from? Ah, <laughs> uh, um, Su da Holanda. Su da Holanda, yes. What's happening yeah, here, guys? Hello! <laughs> like a chip. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Not dangerous at all. No, not dangerous. <laughs>
I love September. I'm just passing by the little fishermen boats. Uh, I live basically next to the fish market. Their boats are really cute. some publications for clients really nice uh, got a really cool one in innovation origins about uh, fishing industry in Burundi in Africa and I'm just gonna work for another hour and then I'm gonna head to the surf spot to see what's going on the waves should be big I think I've been awake since 7 a.m. lately I've been waking up so early but yeah it's good because then I get to work a lot and then the day and also been working in the evenings because the days are getting shorter and it gets dark so early like at 8 or 8 30 and um, working till late so <laughs> I have a very good schedule going on currently with only a few hours of sleep but I cannot sleep any earlier or any longer in the mornings I don't know what's going on but anyway really excited to surf I haven't surfed yesterday really really excited i put some ding tape on my board so i can take my own board again uh and we're gonna go for a sunset session tonight so i just went to the market i know they use way too much plastic in here uh finishing up my shakshuka making some kimens for drow i really love them then i'll just work for a few more hours and i think around six i will go to the surf spot again to check and surf the sunset have a dinner with some friends and um, yeah, enjoy the night. Oh my god, I need to go into hibernation after this summer. <laughs> I woke up again from 45 minute nap, tried to work. Oh, but sometimes I just cannot stay awake anymore. Anyway, it's now 4.30. I still need to finish some work before uh going to surf i don't know how i got this bruise this is part of my leash that came off this morning i lost my board because my leash untied <laughs> i'm so glad it didn't happen monday afternoon in the big waves okay see you <laughs>
Ja, ik ben er even komen. Yeah. That sounds good.